to um it's been at least an hour maybe two hours and i cleaned off my desk oh i wrote crafty beans name on all the stamps and then i sat down to create this collage background paper and i thought why not just put the screen or why not just go live anybody out there want to want to watch me craft in action yeah why not just why not just go live so i am back from just a couple hours ago i did a two hour live sharing the contents of of crafty bean who is tina here on youtube um i need to link link her channel darn it if i remember but you guys could search for her on youtube crafty bean if especially if you're into um the yesteryear woodblock stamps and she makes a lot of cute projects too she crafts a lot over there but anyway um i'm going to make sure i'm within a view i've never done this i've never went live in two videos before but i'm just going to sit here and craft away i probably should have told my husband i'm going live so he's going to be down i think the basketball game starts in about an hour and he's going to come downstairs and watch that game but you guys could check out where's the video check out my live from just two hours ago if you're interested i'm just making sure that i'm actually live and uh make sure i'm on an up and up here and i hope i remember that i'm live lord help me because this is really impromptu i don't want to forget that i'm i'm live I'm just going to title this Let's Craft and Create Rubber Stamp Collage Background. I'm back using from Crafty Bean. here on YouTube. Let's make something beautiful. Blessings. Okay, um just want to make sure I'm live. Yep, it says public, so I believe I'm live. And I'm just going to get started. Um I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. trying to go live. Intoxicated. My heart. <laughs> okay, let's turn this down. I can see myself. I'm within a view. Let me just adjust. You can see this over here. Let's get this out the way. Let's turn it this way some. And I probably, oops, I probably should turn this light on. Because it's about four o'clock. It's 95 degrees right now. I didn't want to look at the the, the temperature because it might be hotter tomorrow. I don't think I like that though. Let's just turn that one on. Okay, let's adjust this back this way. Adjust it this way. Hi, Rhonda. Random, randomly, Rhonda. She changed her name. How you doing? Welcome. Thanks for joining. I am going to create something. You know, let me go grab it. I had it here for a second. Give me a second. I'm going to create something similar to this. I made this over... Well, I made it 4 15, 23 in a live video. I know that because I'm looking at notes right here. Okay, this is too dark. Let me turn, turn a different light on. And I use this. If you guys 
caught the video earlier, I shared, I made cop, I scanned this and made copies of it and it found itself, there's part of it here in my journal. So it's an actual um, background page. Nothing out there like it. Handmade, heart made, homemade. Here's the other side here. And I used stamps that was sent by Jerry. Some of you caught caught that video. She sent two big boxes of stamps and a lot of African American rubber stamps. I need to create one of these with the African American stamps. Well, I'm going to do something similar, something similar with a box of stamps from Tina who is Crafty Bean here on YouTube. So let me get started. Um, I decided to go live because I pulled out the stamps and figured why not just go live okay without thinking because I do have a motto don't think create uh, this is fabric I've never used this one this is a fabric ink pad I got from Tuesday morning right before the pandemic so let's try this this is not fabric oh this paper here you guys I love this stuff this is from yesteryear from Costco Oh, hold on. Let me see if I... I know I don't have the original packaging here, but let me grab what I do have. I've shared this before, but do you guys remember when Costco had a scrapbooking aisle? Well, back in the year, they had five different collections. And for you junk journalers, you guys would love this stuff. I've never seen anyone use it. But they had... Five different collections of handmade paper and it was 20 bucks at Costco and then it went down and I got it when it was 20 bucks and then it went down to five dollars people this is some good stuff and it's fibrous right there's different sheets well I pulled a sheet this one is different from that one you don't see the fibers but this is what I'm using to make my my collage but this is some good stuff here. I have all five collections from back and I bought duplicates because I bought some for 20 and then I got more when it went down for five bucks. I love that stuff. A lot of different textures in that paper. But anyway, I am going to, let's start with this because he lives and I need to see the comments. Rhonda states, I'm good watching you and gardening videos. Cute pages. Thank you, Rhonda. I caught your video at, I think, your cousin's house of her beautiful, serene landscape. Oh, this is really juicy. Look at that. I'm going to have to look this paint up. Look how thick and what nice coverage. But I enjoyed that video. Rhonda, she started a series where she will be sharing different um, gardens from, I'm assuming just in your area, Rhonda. It was so beautiful, so serene. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp the cross right in the center here. Let's see how this stamps out. Now, sometimes I do like to use a, a pad, even when I use red rubber stamps underneath I should be fine <gasps> you guys look at that oh I'm I need to look up you know what I hope they had Tuesday morning had different colors of these ink pads I hope I got the other colors I haven't a clue which drawer I pulled that out of oh my goodness this is nice and you know what there's more ink. I'm looking for fabric so I can stamp. I want to stamp that again. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to take my journal. And I'm going to look for a page to stamp. Because I want to use up all. Oh, that needs to dry. I'm just going to stamp it. This journal isn't bound the last couple journals I've done, I have not bound, I did the pages before I bound the journal. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
I got a little bit, but I love that. Thank you, Tina. I love this stamp that I don't have. And I will clean that, but not yet. Okay, so I did that one. And then, you guys, this stamp here. Oh, I've never seen this one either. This is a, one of those. Um, there. Okay, in yesteryear, you could find stamps. I forget what these type of stamps, they go way back. Um, but this is a black, a black doll here with the dog and with this like Raggedy Ann looking doll there. You gotta love that. Okay, what color do I wanna stamp that in? I didn't bring down, you know, okay, without thinking too much, I'm gonna go with Raspberry Berry. Because this is going to come out nice no matter what. It's going to be... Well, I'm going to have a little bit of everything. Mix, match. Like a... Is it called Mod Podge? I want to get it nice and inked up. This was a brand new stamp, too. And for this one, I do think I want to put something under it. Because for some rubber stamps, well, the, the more you use them, the better impressions you get. And it's always a good idea to condition the stamp, which means you stamp out my husband. I'm live. <laughs> my husband, he's sneaking up on me. What? Huh? Oh, you don't want to do the Chico's? Okay, give me a second. My husband's asking, do we, do I want food from heirlooms? Oh, what are you going to get? You know what? I want a burger. I want the best burger and some fries. Thank you. We, I was going to order from the Chico's and get their... That was my husband. <laughs> Get their um, calzone. But my husband just sneaked in. Our daughter is coming over and she works at a popular restaurant here. So he's like, she's bringing food. And it's more than likely free with her. So, <laughs> hey, I'll take free food any day. <laughs> but they have really good food, you guys. Oh, my son who just left three in the morning he had never eaten at this uh restaurant and my daughter she works there he fell in love with it and she covered his first meal there he ordered over 50 bucks and the food is inexpensive i don't know what he ordered that cost 50 bucks but she covered it okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that but i want to stamp this one out that's so cute, though. This is a cute image. Okay, comment, and then I'm going to stamp this one out on white paper, too, because I do want to cut it cut it out. Okay, um, hi, Frida. She states hi and good evening, everyone. And uh, Rhonda t says hi to Frida. And Frida states, did not know Costco sold crafting supplies. Girl, yes, they did. Yes, um, when I first started crafting in 2004... That's when I started buying things. Costco, they had, they had like a craft aisle. As a matter of fact, hold on, Frida, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Back in the year at Costco, you could have purchased these. I picked up all these from Costco. Now, this one came from a thrift store that I found, but I... I found this one um, at Goodwill, 11, 16, 21, but I still have all of mine from Costco. Um, I'm looking at them right now. They had about seven different collections, but yeah, Costco had all of these. It's so much. Oh, and you know what? I was, Costco is my store, you guys. I love me some Costco. I shop Costco online and also of course, in person, but they have the cricket. If you guys are looking for the cricket, Costco have it. They used to carry cricket back in the year, but they they have it 
again. So surprised. But loved me some Costco. Um, they carried the album, the complete album. Like, what, what do they call them? It came with the scrapbooking album, the stickers, the brads, the ribbon. I have two collections still from Costco. And how I wish, because I never used either one of them, how I wish I kept them in. In the box it came in. Big old box. But yeah, Costco, I mean, they they really did have it all. Not all, but it's only so much they could carry. They had the scissors. I still have my, I donated one set of scissors. The decorative scissors that comes in the scissor container. I still pull that out and use it. Has about 20 different decorative scissors on it. They had a different one every year for several years. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm looking around to see the gel pens. Look how cute that is. I love that. I love this image. Okay. I just wanted to see how it looks on white paper. All right. So... Let's stamp out this one here. He shall direct thy paths. All these stamps, you guys, came from Crafty Bean. And I love this. It's a girl. She's walking down a path. You guys, in life, we don't always know what road to go down, right? We truly walk by faith. But if you serve the Lord, he shall direct thy path. We have navigation that we use today. And navigation don't always get it right. Can somebody say amen? Navigation can lead you down a dead road, a dead street. It's not always up to date. I've gotten lost at times using navigate. As a matter of fact, about a week ago, I was using navigation and it took me to the wrong address. But you serve the Lord, you won't get lost. He shall direct thy paths okay let's put this right here and i'm just randomly choosing different colors y'all no rhyme no reason i'm using fun stamper's journey i'm loving how that's looking thus far and look at this cow i mean you would think these images don't go together and they don't but when you create a collage any and everything goes this is going to be special to me because this is how I commemorate the stamps that Crafty Bean sent to me by making this collage. I'm going to scan it and then I'm going to print it out and use it in my journals. And this is a way for me to remember. And I love this cow. Her name is Thelma. I, I named her Thelma. I have other cow stamps. And um, several years ago, my favorite cow stamp this might be the same cow too, just dressed up differently. I said, I'm a I'ma name her Thelma. I have a a bicycle a bicycle planter in the shape of a it has a cow's face that wobbles and moves. Her name is Thelma. So this cow is is Thelma. And I don't know if this ink well it looks like it's enough. Frida st states, wow, yeah, and random, random, randomly, Rhonda, <laughs> we are supposed to be getting a Costco our way. You don't have a Costco? Supposed to get a Costco? Oh my goodness, Rhonda, have you ever shopped at Costco? And what state? I forget what state you're in. Because some states, I'm West Coast, California, and some states, they have Sam's, more of Sam's Club's few Costco's or no Costco's but oh my goodness let me know if you have ever shopped at Costco oh you're gonna love it you are going to love you guys I can live in Costco I haven't been in the last week and a half because my son whenever the kids come into town they do all my bidding they do all my shopping so my son, he's been to Costco several times. 
Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It's so stinking cute. I'm loving this page. I am loving this page already. Okay, I do have some scripture stamps, but I want to focus on the larger stamps first. Now, this stamp here is of a hat. It reminds me of my grandma with all the church hats. And for a minute, for years, you guys, I was sporting hats all the time. And I still have. Do I want to use this coat? Okay, I'm going to go with it. So I love this hat. And this hat can be easily fussy cut. So you guys, I, I recommend that you do this with stamps that you have if you are gifted stamps. But this is one way of inking up your stamps and actually using them because we have way more than what we'll ever use. But I feel like, oh, that's pretty. I feel like I'm actually using the stamps by creating this collage. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> Rhonda State. Wait a minute. Let me catch my breath, y'all. Rhonda State. She's never shopped at Costco. Oh my goodness. Really? Oh, I forget. We live differently depending on what region we live in. Oh, Rhonda. You never shopped at. Oh, girl. Let me tell you. Woo! Costco is my favorite store, you guys. Although they stopped carrying crafts like years ago, I love me some Costco. Costco is one of those stores I go to. It's peaceful to me. Though it's busy, it's peaceful. And then they get new stuff in all the time. And around the holiday season, they get in a lot of kitchen stuff that they don't carry all year and they have the best return policy. Let me tell you the best return policy. And then the tasters during the pandemic, of course, they stopped the tasters and they made some changes, but they brought the tasters back. My son who was here, he talked about, um, and all my kids, when they come home, they talk about how I took them to Costco growing up. And let me tell you, y'all, I was a bootleg Costco customer, right? Because the tasters, I had no shame in my game. And to this day, I'll do it. I'm one of those repeat tasters. I'll keep going back over and over and over again. And I told my kids to do that too. Because this is lunch, y'all. Y'all hungry? <laughs> but it was always cute. And um, it's normally women who pass the, the tasters out. They didn't care. They would laugh. I just told my kids, just stand in line. Don't cut anyone. But if they let you go back and get more, hey, go back and get more. Okay. And then look at this cute stamp right here. I don't think I want to do this in red, though. I want to choose a different color. That is so pretty. Rhonda, I think your door looks like that. Rhonda, she just has the cutest... Um, uh, vignettes that she shares okay let's do a light I'm gonna do lemongrass I'm just picking out different colors this is gonna come out so nice I can tell I'm not gonna be able to fit all the big stamps but that's okay that is a okay let's put this one right here Oh, uh, Frida says, oh, yeah, we have Costco and Sam's. Yes, Frida, I also have Sam's Club. I prefer Costco, but Sam's Club, they have their advantages. I got a free upgraded membership last year. Um, and what I like about Sam's Club is, and this is what Costco don't offer. They don't offer pickup. Sam's Club, they'll put your order together and they'll bring it to your car right? Costco don't offer that, but some Costco's do have self-checkout, which is cool. Sam's Club already had self-checkout. And then Sam's Club, you can pay as you shop. You can 
add it to your um, online. You could use the app and, and scan it as you shop and pay for it before you leave the store, which is cool. Costco don't offer that. And then Sam's Club, they got some items that I love getting at there that Costco don't offer. So, yeah, we have them both, too. But we have three Costco's and just one Sam's Club. So Costco dominates, I believe, on the West Coast. But there are certain states where Sam's Club dominates. Okay, Frida states brown or red. So you stated, I just read your comment. Oh, okay. I I stamped it in green. I didn't see your comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm assuming you referred to this stamp here. So it's in green. Um, it's pretty. I could go in. Nope, I'm not gonna color anything because this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create the collage, scan it, make copies, and from the, the copy that I make, if I want to go in and color like different aspects of it i'll do it at that time okay let's grab out another stamp uh let's see here look at this big old this big old bag here this is so cute i'm gonna stamp this i sure am let's do this one in this red color this stamp, I can see myself getting a lot of usage out of it. It's a simple design. It's easy to cut out. It's a paper bag. Different things can be stuffed in this paper bag. Okay, let's put it, let's put it this way. And this ink still isn't dry. This, because he lives cross, I love that. I love the cross, you guys. It's my favorite symbol. It's the symbol of all symbols. Anything you need in this life, you can find it in the cross. Okay. That kind of looked out of place, but you know what? This is going to come together so nice. Watch. Can you tell, though, it's a bag? But it's okay. It's a one-of-a-kind piece. Okay. Let's... Oh, I got to use this one. Take a look at this. I wondered if I had this. I don't think I ever picked it up. And this one is not always available. There are certain times when I'm looking for certain designs. And I've seen this cute. This is so cute. This is like from Grandma's cupboard, right? Her pantry. That is so cute. We're going to stamp that one out. And what colors... I need a light color. So let's do this light blue. And all the inks I'm using are Fun Stamper's Journey. Frida states like a rust color. Yes. Okay. But for, for this, you know what? That actually would be nice to have a rust color. Get that vintage distressed look. Okay. Let's. I'm going to put it right here. And I don't mind the overlap, overlapping. And this just moved. I, we'll see. Oh, that's too light. That's not going to work. I'm going to restamp it in a darker blue. So, put this one back. I don't remember where I got it. Let's see. Okay, got it right there. I have my inks stored well, I shared that in a video a long, so many years ago, but I have the, the re-inkers stored with it. So this is a darker, a darker color. Why don't you stamp over here? Okay. Oh, I didn't stamp that part, but that's okay. That's okay. Because that's how it looks, right? It's perfectly imperfect. Oh, this is blue, too. I didn't realize that. Well, it's teal, but it looks the same color. And that's okay, too. That is A-okay. I do want to stamp this one again, but I want to get to some larger... Let's see. You know what? Let's stamp out... Oh, this one. How could I forget this? 
Look at that, you all. Look at that. Okay, what color? Uh, sweet berry? Mm -hmm. What color is missing? Orange. Orange creamsicle. Oh, but then again, okay, I'm going to do it. This is yellow right here. Don't think, Felicia. Create. It's okay. And you guys, this really does come together fast when you don't think. Okay, I think I'm going to put it right here. I should have brought that hat down. But no, it's okay. It's okay. Or should I put it here? Let's put it up here. No. <laughs> Let's put it here. Okay. Okay. Look at that. All right. All right. It says posh plant and seed. See this orange. Oh, it's very similar. Those are two similar colors. Darn it. So I got two colors the same right here and two right here. But this is still going to come out nice. It is what it is. I love it. Okay. Um, let's. I'm going to add some balloons last. Let's add some scripture stamps. And I still have an area here. Oh, you know what? Psalms 1 and 13. Now I do want a bold color. So let's do. I don't want it to be the same color as. Okay, it shouldn't be. And this is a brand new stamp. Love my scripture, my faith based. Faith based stamps. Let's put that right here. And I need to bring this in a little closer to me. Crafty Bean, the lady of the hour, the one who is responsible for all this rubber stamping, she joins us and she says hello to everyone. <laughs> Tina, this is a collage I'm making with all those beautiful stamps that you sent me. Okay, you guys, I'm really loving how this turned out. I'm going to stamp an image inside of here and I could do something with the bag as well, but I definitely have to get more, more scriptures in the morning comes and now is welcome the day with gladness and greet the dawn with promise. Amen. I can say amen to that. I definitely can. Okay. What color do I want to use? What color is missing you all? What color is missing? Um, what color? I okay. Let's do. Let's do this blue, which is called chambray shirt. I'm gonna put it down here. Oh, I like that. I like that. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, and this one here, Matthew 7 and 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. Amen. Okay. I'm going to lay this one right here and then practice random acts of kindness and senseless acts of beauty. I'm going to put that one, you know what, right here. Because she's, this cow is so pretty. Put her right there. And then this one here, art washes away from the soul, the dust of everyday living. Put that right there. And then I got more. Look at this. It's not summer yet, but it feels like it. I love a sun-kissed summer. Put that right there. And I might switch some of the placements out. 
Wishing you a day brought with sunshine, warm with love. Put that right there. And let's see here. More scriptures. Oh, this one. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. I might put that right there. And I love what this states. If only prayer, if the only prayer you say in your whole life is thank you, that would suffice. Let's put that right there. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. Is one. There is no multiple, no multiple deities. He is one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, and I still can stamp more. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I want to add some filler in with this design too but now let me i'm kind of getting stuck with the colors and that's because felicia you're starting to think too much don't think i want to choose a green lemonade splash i hope this wasn't the one i grabbed earlier and it wasn't dark enough Okay, not totally dark. I'm going to put this ink to the side because the next one I grab, I'm going to restamp that area down there. It don't have to be perfect, you all. See, look at that. Ah, that's kiwi, kiwi slice. Okay, got that one. And then... How about, let's do purple here. Okay, all right. You guys see where I'm going with this? And you know what? I wanna use purple over here too. Okay, okay, and then Let's use for this one, let's bring in some more green. Uh-huh, I'm loving that. Yes, indeed. Okay, and let's, for this one, let's bring in, no, I don't wanna do the same color. Okay, let's do, let's do this one here, which color? Mm. Which color do I want to do here? Okay. Uh, comments. Crafty Bean states, Hey, hey, ladies. It looks amazing. Thank you. Randomly Rhonda states, Hi, Tina. Crafty Bean states, Hello, Miss Rhonda. Crafty Bean says, Purple. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about, Tina. <laughs> And she also states, did I send you any doubles, Felicia? I hope not, hon. I tried to pick out some special ones just for you. I did not get any double. Well, you mean doubles as far as what I have? This one is a double. I have this one, and I will bless it forward. Outside of this one, I don't think any other, I don't have any doubles. You did very well, and you did pick out some special ones for me. This one here, I adore, Tina. I've never seen this one. It You may have missed my live two hours ago when I opened up the box. Um, but I've never seen this one, and I love this one. This cross here, I didn't have it, never seen. i seen this one, but I believe online, and I never picked it up. I might have, the more I look at this, I wonder if I have it, but I'm not too sure. You know, sometimes you can see a thing. And then think you have it. But, oh, I love this one. I had never seen this one. This is, I name her Thelma. 
because I have other cow stamps. Out of all the animals, the cow was my favorite. And she's a, oh, I forgot to stamp her. Oh, I got to get her. Hold on, you guys. I got to get Thelma. Thelma has to be on this page. She is like a favorite. Where do I put? Okay. I, oh, I did stamp her. Oh, she's right here. Okay. <laughs> I was going to put her like right here. <laughs> so she's a favorite. I need my Thelma. And then, of course, the scripture stamps. Absolutely love them. And I forgot what I had here. Maybe it was this one. Okay, so let me look for a lighter color, but dark enough. Let's go with this color right here. It's Cosmic Grape. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty and bright. I love that. <laughs> okay, now let's... Let's do, I'm going to do a blue up here. No, let's do a, yeah, let's do a blue. Oh, I love that too. See how fun this is? And you guys, you see how it's, it's coming together. Did I stamp this one? No, no, I didn't. This is coming together so nice, you all. Uh... What color do I want to put here? Let's see here. What color do I want to put right here? Let's do purple. You guys, I, I'm almost done. Mm, I don't want to cover up. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Uh, cultivate love. You know what I want to do? I'm going to stamp this one out in different colors. I like to use Costco baby wipes. Get the whole box. Oh my goodness. You guys hold on. I got to plug up my computer because it's about to go bye-bye on me. Okay. Whew. I have four, I think four minutes left, if that. Okay. So let's get, let's do this in yellow. Let's do yellow again. Clean the stamp. Rhonda states, oh, Crafty Bean states, yay. Wait, Frida states, oh, I got to go back up, y'all. Okay. Frida states, those are very nice. And I read this in case some of you don't have access to read these. I like to read the comments so you guys don't miss out on the comments, too. So Frida states, those are very nice. She also states, what a blessing to, re to receive such nice stamps. Amen, Frida. Crafty Bean states, okay, yay. She also states, I did. LOL. Thelma is so cute. <laughs> Thelma is the, I'm, like I said, y'all, this cow is adorable. <laughs> Randomly, Rhonda states, Tina, I haven't forgot about the stamps you sent. I like what Felicia is doing with hers. Rhonda, do the same thing. You make a lot of journals. It'd be so cute as a page in your journal. And Crafty Bean states, it's okay, Rhonda. I never expect videos. I just like to know you got them, hun. Just enjoy them. Yes, Tina has a wonderful heart. She, many of you, I'm sure, have gotten stamps from her. She comes across like stamps galore literally literally okay let's put this one right here cultivate love i love what this states i keep a garden and um i do a lot of writing not just in my journal but i actually write devotionals i'm you guys i've been working on a book for like over a decade 
and I use a lot of words synonymous with the garden depending on what chapter I'm working in so this stamp I love that okay let me I'll come back and stamp more of those oh this cute watermelon I got a watermelon in there waiting for me to slice open and get busy red the watermelon needs to be red why did I say red? Watermelons are green. But you know what? I'm going to do red. Because the inside is red. That's why. And I'm going to put it right here. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. That is so cute. I want to do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Let's put the bird right here. I love it. <laughs> you guys see how this is coming together? so nicely oh and i'm not done because i um and truth be told this could be done already but there's still space to fill in the lord is my shepherd i shall not want amen he is and you know what there's space for that right there and i'm going to use this purple here this great fusion do it just like that I love it. I didn't I didn't press the left side, but that is a okay. That is a okay. Okay, this stamp. No, where's that stamp at? I want to add some extra texture with that. But let me look down. Um this balloon stamp. I want to try something. Now, this is where it kind it kind of get risky, so I got to uh Look at this. This is a background of balloons. And I just want to stamp, put ink on a little bit of this and just, okay, I'm just going to do it because you don't know unless you try. But I do want to use a color of ink that's very light. So I know this green. I stamped it down here and it was too light to read the phrase. So I'm going to use green just to add. just going to do a corner and you know what well I was going to do th well let's do Thelma let's do this this is a two-sided stamp I picked up some of these when I was in Seattle a couple years ago from a store there and I found some locally too no or was the first time oh I don't remember but you see you can barely see that so I I feel comfortable enough you guys probably can't see the texture there this is a good texture stamp but I I could see that and just to add visual interest well you know what I can actually do this I don't want that big balloon Just gonna do this. Um, let's add it right here. I'm gonna bring it closer to me. See, you guys probably can't see that, but I can. So stamps like this with a light ink can add more visual interest to your background. And I'm gonna come back with another color too that's light enough where I can I can add more to the background okay I've used quite a bit of stamps that she sent me I'm looking down I'm not going to use this because this is Christmas though you know what I could use it but I'm not um let's see here um oh this one right here Where can I stamp? I can stamp it right here. Let's do... Let's do this teal color. Okay, do it just like this. And I could stamp off the page some as well. Ooh, I like that. 
and I'm looking at this and there's still gaps where I could fill in. I don't have to fill it in though. But this is how it looks so far. I love how this looks, you all. Oh, one final thing. Well, not, well, I will, well, let me do it now. But as to keep with my train of thought, let me do this now before I forget. I'm going to spell out Tina's name. Just like I did for the stamps I got from Jerry. You see here, I spelled out Jerry's name. So I'm going to use the same stamps and spell out um, Tina's name. And I'll always remember this came from Tina. And I'm going to use brown ink to stamp out her name. So let's do this. I think this came from Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> I got this from Jerry. I love these these word stamps. Okay, where do I spell her name? And I got to put some chapstick on, you guys. I have chapstick in all my different... I don't have a lot of different purses, but my walk-in pouch, my fanny pack, my craft room, the recliner upstairs in the nightstand, in the car, but now that it's getting hot, it's going to melt in the car. And this is the chapstick that I use from Costco. You can get like eight in a pack. And when it goes on sale, about 11 bucks. I love this stuff. Comes in different fruity flavor, different fruity flavors. Got tongue tied there. Okay, let's spell out Tina's name. And I probably didn't clean these the last time I used them. So, oh, that one I did. Okay, so Tina, what's your favorite color? I was going to use brown, but... If you're still there and and uh, comments, okay, let me go back up because I missed some comments. Frida states that's very sweet of her to share. She's referring to Crafty Bean, who was Tina here, sharing stamps with different uh, social media YouTube friends, including myself. And then uh, Frida states. Crafty Bean says, thank you, Frida. Frida states, you're welcome. Crafty Bean states, sharing makes my heart happy. I got a beautiful stamp from Felicia as well. I love it. She's refer Some of you caught her video when she shared the stamp. It was a surprise stamp. She didn't know what stamp it was, but she knew it was Diana Markham. And I shared with her a Diana Markham um, snowman stamp. So that's what she's referring to. But before that, she shared with me a red rubber rarity African stamp. <laughs> the love just cycles around, right? Um, and Rhonda states, Tina is a sweetheart. Amen to that. Frida shared a, a happy face. Crafty Bean states, love it. Randomly, Rhonda states, beautiful page. Thank you, Rhonda. Crafty Bean says teal. So her favorite color is teal. So I'm glad I read it because... <laughs> I'm going to put the brown away and stamp out her name in teal. And Oh, and then she says mint green. You know what? Actually, let's do mint green. But I need to use... You know what? I probably... Let me test out this. Is this mint green? Let me just test it out. If not, I'm going to use pistachio by Tim Holtz. No, that's not... I don't think that's minty enough. Okay, let me compare it to Tim Holtz. Because he has a beautiful mint, if I can find it. Oh, this one right here. And you guys, hold on one second, please. Okay, I had to blow my nose real fast. Okay, let's compare it to this one here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Whole T1. So, we're going to use 
Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide by Tim Holtz to spell out Tina's name. And I could spell it right there, but I want it to be, you know what? I'm going to spell it right here. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. Okay. I. <laughs> H I. Okay. N. This is some good ink. Oh my goodness, the end was probably backwards. It was backwards, but that's okay. I get to the end and make a mistake, but you know what? There's no mistakes. This is art. You know, if you find a, a postage stamp with a mistake on it, it's worth a whole lot of money. Mistakes, y'all, end up being works of art. I love how that turned out. Look at that. I love how this turned out. Love, love, love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm looking for... Let's see here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, because there is some... You know what? I'm going to leave it as, as is. You guys, this is nice. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, comments. Yes, perfect. Okay. Tina says, yes, perfect. The, the Tim Holtz cracked pistachio. And she also states, uh, Tim Holtz beautiful color. Yes, indeed. If you guys need a mint color, by far, I have several. Well, I have a mint color I think from paper tray ink or stampin up and it's actually not a bad looking color but you know what I don't even know if it it could be dried out now for all I know but cracked pistachio is beautiful but look how this turned out you all you can make something similar crafty bean states Amish ladies make a mistake in their quilt on purpose this is a true signature I, I didn't know that I did not know that. Um, Crafty Bean Tina, she lives in Pennsylvania, right? She she has shared videos of like her outside area. Beautiful during the fall. I'm so jealous. So jealous. But she lives amongst the community of the, the, the Amish people. And I saw that video where your dogs, they I think one was barking because the horses was passing by. Y'all... She got she got the Amish people, you know, they, they ride horses and buggies and they pass by her house. I mean, I would freak out in a good way if I looked outside. Growing up and sometimes um, when I visit where I grew up at, there used to be there used to be a, a man on a horse. And we had never seen that before. But he would he would ride his horse, walk with his, you know not go fast on the horse but just throughout town every every blue moon we would see him on the horse and that was always a sight to see because we never we never would see that but for her it's an everyday occurrence how special is that that's that's so neat and she says yes amish country yeah i mean i would love to see that at my favorite thrift store on a couple occasions, I have seen what I believe to be Amish women there. And I can't say for sure, but the way they were dressed made me think they were Amish. I didn't know. I don't know of us having an Amish community. But apparently, I, I think we do. I need to look into that. But how special to, to see that. To see the horses and, and all that. Okay, you guys. This is so beautiful. Crafty Bean. Okay, comment all day long. I love it. We have horseback riders as well. 
I share wood stamps with my Amish neighbor. I remember in a video you stated that. That's so special to do that. Yeah. You got a kind heart. I think everybody knows that. Well, you guys, the last thing I'm going to do, I have to date this somewhere. So let me grab a pen. And this one probably don't write. It's drying out. I want to date this. And like I did the other one. Let me grab the other one too. This is so pretty. These both are just gorgeous. And once again, I just love. Well, look how they look similar, but they but they're different. And just look at the collage of different rubber stamps, you all. I love it. All the stamps that Tina sent me, mine is several. There are several stamps, some Christmas stamps that I didn't use. And then, you know what, I didn't use this one either. But I used 90% of the stamps that she sent to create this. And I'm going to sign my name, make it official, put today's date, which is 6 4. And I'm going to put live video. And the time right now is 5 01 p.m. I love to add the time. And this is it, you all. Let's see how much time have I spent to make this. I have 61 minutes, an hour, you all. An hour, right? And this truly would have took maybe a half an hour. No time, no thought. And gorgeous. Well, I want to thank all of you. Let me go back up to the comments and... Random Rhonda from Random Randomly Rhonda and Frida and of course um Crafty Bean and if I've missed some of you who commented you guys I'm sorry I've mentioned this before that um the comments can be delayed and some comments I won't see until after the video for whatever the reason because it I think they get stuck but I want to thank all of you for commenting. Crafty Bean states, Felicia, do you have a sun? Oh, no, I don't have that stamp. No, I do not have that stamp. Crafty Bean um, is asking, do I do I have the sunflower Diana Markham stamp? Nope, 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 nope. Ah! <laughs> I don't have it. I would love to have it. Sunflowers are my favorite flower. And then poppies is my next favorite flower. But no, I don't. <laughs> I think I know what that means. I get to add to my sunflower collection by the Miss Famous Diana Markham. <laughs> but I want to thank all of you who commented. Look, I know many can't comment for different reasons, but hopefully you can like this video. If you liked it, you all, if you have been inspired to create something similar, you just need stamps and you need ink. That's all you need and a piece of paper. And you can create a treasure background that no one else has, right? That's so unique that you can repurpose and reuse over and over and over again. And what a wonderful way to say thank you to those who send you rubber stamps. You can immortalize those rubber stamps by making something similar, scanning it, saving it, turning it into a background and you all you have it for years to come. And even if you if something happens to your stamps or you donate your stamps, you still have this. You guys, I will continue even with my own stamps continue to make these collage one of a kind background pieces because I have a lot of stamps and I do need to downsize, but then I'll always have those stamps with me by way of these beautiful special pieces. So thank you, Crafty Bean, so very much. 
I have a, a postcard coming your way. It's already ready. I just have to put it in the mailbox. And once again, all you ladies who who left comments, you guys like, like, consider subscribing. Okay, I got comments coming in. Randomly, Rhonda, she sends hearts my way. Crafty Bean, she confirms. Thank you. I'm I'm getting a I'm getting a special sunflower stamp. <laughs> <laughs> all right and she also states enjoy your dinner felicia good night ladies i shall i'm gonna go in there my husband he's downstairs now the basketball game started i'm gonna find find out what time dinner is coming and i'm, I'm gonna enjoy it and she states good night to all you ladies i also state good night good morning whatever time it is in your neck of the woods and god's part of the world and for those of you who catch this video on replay Blessings to all of you. And Frida states, good night, and I did. All right. Good night, you all. Sorry for the shake shake, but it's the only way I know how to end this live. Oh, sorry. My phone almost fell.